Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It's good to be back talking to you guys. Today I put out a post on Instagram asking what you guys wanted to see next on uh, the videos and I had a lot of people um, comment and give suggestions for videos and this question has come up a lot and that question is how do I section uh, my haircuts and why do I section my haircuts the way I do so today what I wanted to do is go over that with you guys so I had two people ask pretty much the same question the first one was Nikki Marcel on Instagram asked differences between sectioning and why you would section a certain way example horseshoe square triangle diamond four sections etc so I'm definitely gonna break that down we also had a question from miss I believe it's miss sweet cheeks I'd be interested in seeing more about how you decide to part the hair in a certain way prior to the cut. I know you base it off head shape and the end result uh, you're going for. I still feel like I have trouble implementing that on a real client. Um, so awesome. Great questions. Now I want to break it down for you guys so you fully understand why I do what I do. All right guys, so let's break down the sectioning that I do for every single haircut. Like I said, I always base it on the shape of the head and on the end result of the haircut that I'm looking to create. The standard of my sectioning is following the parietal ridge. Parietal ridge is that first kind of round shape. It's from the, it separates the top from the bottom of the head. So I section along parietal ridge, down across mid crown. Mid crown is another curve that separates the top and the bottom. And then I go back around parietal ridge. That creates that horseshoe section that you guys always see in my haircuts. Then I decide, am I gonna create a haircut that pushes the weight off of her face or pushes the weight towards her face? That's all gonna be based on how I create this next division point in the head shape. Now, this is the halfway point. It's what separates the front uh, where the face is and the back of the head this way. I think the key to understanding sectioning is really understanding the corners of the head. And that is why I section so many different little pieces. That leads me into the back. We have the back division. Uh, so if you want to divide the right and the left side of the back, there's a, a corner there. And then I go across the occipital bone, which is another uh, corner in the head shape. So then I separate from the occipital bone down, occipital bone up. So it gives me these four sections in the back. All right, so I want to dive a little bit deeper into this question because it was also asked um, why you part the hair certain ways. For example, horseshoe, square, triangle, diamond, four sections. So let's just start off with horseshoe. The reason I put a horseshoe in the top of the hair is because that's going to be the most forgiving type shape on the haircut. If I went and created a stronger um, corner in the haircut, then I'm going to be dealing with that later on in the cut. So this is a little bit softer way to go about the top. Now there are some cases where I create a rectangle on the top of the head. That's just if I don't mind putting a little bit of heaviness in the corners, um, then I go with that. If I want it to be a little bit softer, I go with the horseshoe shape. So that's horseshoe and square. Triangle and diamond are a little bit different to me. Cool thing about using a triangle and a diamond in a haircut is that you're going to be able to take a fatter base and make it skinnier or take a skinnier section and make it fatter and work around the head. So triangles are a good way. If you tried to put a bunch of squares around the head, it doesn't always fit that well. But if you take a bunch of triangles and you piece them out around the head, you can shift around. That's why creating pie shaped sectioning in the crown area works so well because it's an easy way to shift shift yourself, stay consistent, and work around corners in a haircut. So I like to use triangles when I'm working around a round of the head, and I also love to use triangles when I'm working with disconnection because it diffuses itself out. And the last one was the basic four sections. I don't really use this sectioning that often unless I'm coloring hair because I believe that if I just did the basic four quadrants, what I'm doing is I'm opening myself up for inconsistency because I have to work around the rounds of the head without um, sectioning it away. So so I can keep myself organized. This is my basic sectioning guys. I hope that it helps you uh, when you're sectioning out your haircuts so that you have a purpose for everything that you're doing. Um, but use this as a standard and then develop on top of that uh, what fits your style. So thank you guys so much for checking this out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Check out all the haircuts. Now that you've seen the sectioning, you'll understand more of why I cut the way that I do. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video.